Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints, on this rainy, rainy, rainy Thursday morning. And, uh, yeah, it's quite a bit warmer. You see our snow is melting now, finally. And, uh, yeah, it's like plus five or whatever right now. Supposed to be going to like plus 15 or something. It's like, what? What a change from the last couple days, eh? Welcome to spring in Canada. <laughs> All righty. <clears throat> and down to the river we go. Hearing a lot of birds and seeing a lot of squirrels this morning. Everybody's just glad to be out and about. Here we go. The river is high. Look at that. Yep. And soon <clears throat> I'm going to be able to start fishing in this river again. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, this section of the river from Lock 19, which is just up there, um, down here for a while, this section of the river is a, uh, a conservation area in the uh, over the winter and uh, through most of the spring. A fish sanctuary. These are... Uh, used to be, I don't think they are anymore, but this used to be breeding grounds for a number of different species and uh, so they were, they've got this place set aside so nobody's allowed to uh, fish here well into uh, the spring just to give the, uh, the fish stock a chance to catch up but uh, well, I'll tell you last summer we didn't see much, much fish in here, many fish in here at all so I don't think there's a whole lot of uh, breeding going on anymore around here. But anyways, that's not why you've come down to the river with me. The reason why we came down to the river is so that we can get into the Word. So let's do just that. 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Um, we're going to read... Uh, Verses, uh, verse 22, there's part of this verse. I'm going to start at the last sentence of 21, only because it completes the thought, all right? So the last phrase in 21 and then all of 22, here's what the word says. He anointed us, the us here is the writer, along with his readers. And you can see that from the context of verse 21. Um, it's the, uh, the collective us, all right? Reader and writer and the apostles that were with him and stuff. So he anointed, you could say all of us, all right? He anointed us, set his set of seal of ownership on us and put his spirits, spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. So he anointed us, set his seal of ownership on us and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come. Friends, you've heard it said many times, there's been plaques made and t-shirts made and probably bumper stickers made and all sorts of stuff that said, God isn't finished with me yet. Well, this verse would back that up. That God has already certified a bunch of stuff with you has already guaranteed much and has put his spirit in you as a deposit a promise of things to come so i want to i want to encourage you today Whatever you're going through, whatever struggle you have had in the past, 
Um, and I'm talking about struggles with, you know, knowing God's will, struggles with, uh, you know, trying to be a good Christian, whatever that means. Um, and the, the, the struggle that you've had. Maybe you struggle with sin, with old habits, with temptation, with... I want you to know that wherever you've come from, whatever you've gone through, God isn't finished with you yet. And He is actively working towards fulfilling all of His promises in you. He is at work. He is doing all He can. So don't you give up, because He's not giving up on you. All right? We have to work in cooperation with Him. Yes, we do. Obedience is necessary. Yes, it is. But I want you to know that He hasn't given up on you. He has an invested interest in you succeeding and making it to heaven to spend eternity with Him. He's invested a lot in you. He wants you to make it. So please don't give up. Because God is not finished with you yet. Read the scriptures again. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for this word. And thank you, God, for the encouragement. Thank you, Father, for the revelation. Father, thank you that you have shown us and are showing us what it is that you're doing. What it is that you are actively participating in, in our lives. Thank you so much, Father, for all that you have done and all that you are doing. And Lord, that we would, that we would follow hard after you. That Lord, your, your investment would pay off well in us. So Lord, we ask that you would open our eyes, that we would know what you're doing, what you've done, that we would know your power, that we'd know your word. But also, oh God, make us aware of what the enemy is trying to do that we might be able to flee, avoid, deny. We might be able to stay out of his grasp. There's a real battle going on, Lord, and help us to understand that. That your kingdom might come and your will might be done here in me as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name I pray, with thanksgiving now. Amen. Amen. God bless you richly. I mean that. Richly. In Jesus' name. Amen.